Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, I've been spending all day here doing load testing on the um, pulse generator by Slayer, and uh, I wanted to see what this thing was actually doing under load on the charging part of it to see if we were actually doing anything. Are we putting fictitious voltages out? And is this thing actually charging? Is it doing any good? What the heck is it doing? So, what? you do here on the circuit is you load up this charging part of it and discharge. You load and discharge and um, you do it with capacitors and batteries and, and do it different ways and put loads on this part of the circuit to see if you're actually generating electricity with this or what the heck you're doing or is it just what they call a fluff voltage going out. So anyway it was a long day. Uh, conclusions are mixed. Um, I'm not completely sold on what's happening, but I've got some interesting results. Um, there's my charge, or I'm sorry, the um, drive battery. There's drive battery uh, source voltage right there. And I've been running this all day, and you can see it, it's just sat there. It was about there when I started. It just doesn't use a whole lot of juice the way I'm doing this. Um, I'm using this um, switching regulator here that really, really... Uh, controls the amount of power coming out of that. It's not just voltage, but it's the, it's the amount of power that's coming into here. And of course that affects the amount of power going out. So you dial this down, you're going to dial that down too. But um, anyway, this is what's going on. I'm going to turn this on. Here's the little radio. You can hear it. You can hear nothing's happening here. I'm going to take the radio away and you can see that it doesn't make any noise unless I have the radio on. I'll turn this on here. And here it makes a static sound, and that's that's this running right here. That's the uh, read switches being run, and uh, I may change this to a 555 timer triggering because this is very finicky, and I'm getting real tired of it. <laughs> but anyway, I've got this dialed down. Uh, you probably can't see that, but that's about uh, seven volts. It's actually hitting the circuit, and on the amp meter that's probably 10 or 15 milliamps that's coming out of it. I'll take this radio away here. You can see it's quiet now. Now over here on this side, this is the, the uh, load. I'm using my mini box. This is a CFL 555 timer run. Um, fully a solid state CFL circuit. And this is the voltage at this load. That's, uh, I've got this dialed in right there at that particular voltage for a reason. And that's the battery that normally runs it. It's about 10 and a half volts when it's uh, charged up. So I dial this in to be a little bit higher than that. So when I connect that up, I'll actually be charging the battery at the same time I'm running the light. But there's nothing in here. Um, let's see that or not. It's so dark. Anyway, there's nothing in there but just uh, wires and an ignition coil. Um, and then I got the battery on the outside here. Now, what I'm going to do is, there by the way, is the amp draw coming off of the capacitor right here. So this is the amperage I'm actually pulling off of this, this uh, circuit over here. Uh, like I say, I'm probably 10 or 15 milliamps. I'm actually coming over here with five of that. The rest has been eaten by the circuit. It's eating up the, the energy. But that's okay because this thing is running and I don't mind as long as I'm getting light out of the system. But what I do like and what was a real pleasure to see was I can charge the, um, the system while this is running. And that was something I wanted to see if I could do and get this around here. Okay, now I just pl I just plugged in the battery right here, and you can see the battery is now locked the system at its voltage, and this will climb because I have a higher voltage coming out of this capacitor than what that battery is sitting out. So now I got my light going, I've got the battery hooked up, which will be charging, and I can increase that by dialing in some more over here. This is the the gas pedal. This is the accelerator right here. You step on it and you put more juice in that way. You ease up on it. You ease up on the source here, the gas tank, but you don't get as much performance on that side. 
So anyway, this, this was my experiment today, was the uh, load testing on the Slayer circuit. And uh, it does work, it just works differently than I thought it would, would work. But um, that's the latest.